Bishop Moore's journey began when he was born to his parents, the late Roscoe and Queenie Moore, in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. According to Bishop Moore, his father died after he was born, and he was raised by his mother. He often indicates his mother was very stern. However, he grew up as being a very inquisitive and God-fearing child. Bishop Moore received and accepted the call from God at the young age of 16 years old to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. As he began to mature in his divine calling, God placed a visionary and mentor to assist his spiritual development, the late Bishop Nick Hightower Sr., founder of the House of God Saints in Christ Incorporated. As God led Bishop Hightower in the transformation and establishment of the organization, Bishop Moore was given an opportunity to gain spiritual guidance while traveling with Bishop Hightower, as well as obtain biblical intuition that would prepare him for the work of the Lord. Dolores Hightower Moore is a native of Lake City, Florida. She is the fourth daughter of the founder of the House of God Saints in Christ Incorporated, the late Bishop Nick Hightower Sr. and Mother Annie Bell Hightower. First Lady Moore, as she is most faithfully called, journey began when she accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as her Savior at a young age as well. Being raised in a religious atmosphere has indeed prepared her for the work that God has ordained for her to complete throughout her life. On many accounts, she has testified on how the Lord used her as a young child to prophesy and she promised God that she would serve him with all her heart. At the pinnacle of their young years together, perhaps neither one of them knew the vision and divine calling that God had placed upon their young lives as husband and wife. And so their journey begins. Under the leadership of the late Bishop Johnny L. Littman Sr., presiding bishop-elect of the House of God Saints in Christ, Bishop Moore was appointed pastor of Mount Moriah House of God Saints in Christ in 1977. After his appointment, Bishop Moore began to implement the visions that God had given him for the betterment of the church and the community. In 1980, the old sanctuary was remodeled and redesigned. Throughout the years, Bishop Moore preached the word of God with power and authority. He encouraged us to live a life of victory and to be totally free from the bondage of fear and defeat. After much prayer, fasting, dedication, and experience, in 1986, Bishop Moore was appointed and consecrated as the Florida Diocese Bishop of the House of God Saints in Christ, Incorporated, by the late Bishop Johnny L. Lippman Sr. He was covered with a pastoral robe which was placed on him by the late Bishop Nathaniel Jackson. A higher calling was bestowed on Bishop Moore in 1994. He was elected as the presiding Bishop of the House of God Saints in Christ, Incorporated, and was consecrated by the late Bishop Samuel L. Green, Jr., presiding prelate second jurisdiction, Virginia, of the Church of God in Christ. In 1995, and 2002, a Victory Family Life Center and a new sanctuary were designed and built. The Lord gave Bishop Moore a vision to build the Victory Family Life Center first in order to have worship services for Mount Moriah until the new sanctuary was complete. In addition to the sanctuary also became the new headquarters for the House of God Saints in Christ Incorporated. The Victory Family Life Center and the new sanctuary were developed to enhance our outreach ministries and to assist in a diminishing atmosphere of poverty and despair to one of hope and salvation for the East Side community. God has anointed Bishop Moore to be an outstanding leader, preacher, organizer, and entrepreneur, both to our national church and to our local church. In honor and recognition of over 50 years in ministerial services, 
he received an honorary doctorate degree from St. Thomas Christian College in Jacksonville, Florida on October 23, 2003. As pastor of Mount Moriah, Bishop Moore organized and cultivated his local church to be a beacon of light for the community that was once known as a poverty-stricken community. Bishop Moore enhanced his outreach ministry by developing the Praise God for Victory radio broadcast and has frequently hosted the TBN Praise the Lord television broadcast here in Jacksonville, Florida. I don't care who walk out. If I know what God did, and I know where he brought me from, I know how far and how low down I was, and I know nobody could have done that but Jesus. Nobody could have picked me up. Nobody could have turned me around. Nobody could have... Bishop Moore was also featured every Sunday morning on the CW Television Network, Channel 17. Throughout the years, he preached the word of God with simplicity, power, and authority. Many people have come to know God and continue to serve God in the beauty of holiness. First Lady Moore frequently acknowledged supporting her husband in ministry is her first primary purpose. She has the powerful anointing in the ministry of helps. The gift of helps became active in her life following a seven year sickness as a result, the motto, Praise God for Victory, was birthed as a declaration of praise and triumph for her miraculous healing. Presently, Praise God for Victory continues to illuminate the sanctuary of Mount Moriah as an expression of praise. First Lady Moore's commitment to helping others is evident through her life's service. Because of her commitment and love for the church, she organized and developed the women's ministry at Mount Moriah. Through this ministry, she has written the victorious women's creed to encourage women throughout the body of Christ to live a victorious life. First Lady Moore also founded the House of God Saints in Christ Ministers and Deacons Wives Branch to promote spiritual wisdom, unity, and fellowship. A devout Christian since early childhood, First Lady Moore has grown to be an anointed leader, teacher, encourager, and supporter in the ministry. She has frequently hosts intercessory prayers, corporate fasting, Bible studies, retreats, workshops, and other related events to empower women in the gospel. Just recently, First Lady Moore hosted a woman's prayer walk in which the women of Mount Moriah walked and prayed for the families and businesses in the surrounding area of Mount Moriah's church. She also presented a weekly study on living by the Spirit by Lorraine Masterin. It is her passion that everyone be filled with the Holy Spirit and exercise the power of the Holy Spirit in his or her lives daily. First Lady Moore supports her husband's vision and prays for him continually as God continues to anoint him and use him as his servant. She is without a doubt a virtuous and victorious woman who has complimented her husband Bishop Moore with grace, faith, love, and endurance. As a father and mother of two wonderful daughters, Cetra and Sandy, a son-in-law, Ricky, 
and one granddaughter, Raquel. Bishop and First Lady Moore firmly believes that the best way to raise successful children and be totally dedicated to the call of Christ is to be an active role model in demonstrating the life of total victory through the Word of God. All of their children are faithful leaders and ministers in the ministry and serve well in supporting their parents in the gospel.